Gemma 3N just dropped as the most powerful on-device AI model yet. DeepMind's new alpha genome can predict how DNA mutations affect our health, and Google's Gemini CLI now lets you code straight from your terminal using Gemini 2.5 Pro. Claude's turning into an app builder right inside the chat window. Meta just poached top researchers from OpenAI. WhatsApp added AI summaries for your unread chats. And YouTube is rolling out an AI-powered search carousel and instant video summaries. Let's get into all of it. Crazy stuff's happening in AI right now, so let's talk about it. First up, Gemma 3N jumped from preview to full release on 26 June 2025. The original Gemma arrived early last year, bagged more than 160 million cumulative downloads, and spawned over a dozen specialist offshoots covering everything from medical triage to content filtering. Version 3N keeps that open source energy, but rewires the entire stack for phones and other edge boards. A single checkpoint now digests images, audio, video, and plain text and responds in text, and it already understands 140 languages for text plus 35 languages in its multimodal pipeline. Google published the weights on Hugging Face and Kaggle, dropped a click-to-try endpoint in AI Studio, and even lets you one-click deploy straight to Cloud Run. The model shows up in two effective sizes. E2B behaves like a 2 billion parameter network, but hides 5 billion raw parameters under the hood and runs happily in just two gigabytes of VRAM. E4B behaves like 4 billion, owns 8 billion raw, and still fits in three gigabytes. That frugality comes from Matt Former, a Matryoshka-style transformer that trains a large model with a smaller, fully functional model nested inside. During training, the E4B giant learns side-by-side -side with its E2B little sister, so you can grab the sub-model for raw speed, keep the full model for accuracy, or open the brand new Matformer lab and carve out custom sizes by tweaking feed forward widths from 8,192 up to 16,384 and selectively skipping layers until the memory footprint matches your phone or Raspberry Pi. Matt Former Lab even runs a mini benchmark sweep using MMLU and friends so you know exactly what capability you're giving up or gaining. Despite that stingy memory bill, E4B just smashed the 1,300 point mark on LM Arena, becoming the first checkpoint under 10 billion parameters to do so. Per layer embeddings push most embedding weights onto the CPU, so only the core transformer, two billion or four billion parameters, lives on your accelerator. A trick called KV cache sharing lets higher layers reuse keys and values computed lower down, cutting the pre-fill stage roughly in half and giving long prompt or streaming workloads a visible speed bump. Gemma 3N gets dedicated encoders too. On the sound side, it borrows the universal speech model, emitting one token every 160 milliseconds, roughly six tokens a second, and at launch, choose through clips up to 30 seconds. Speech to text and spoken language translation already shine between English and Spanish, French, Italian, and Portuguese, and chain of thought prompting still squeezes out a few extra percentage points of accuracy. The Vision branch rides on the freshly minted MobileNet V5300M. It gulps images at 256, 512, or 768 pixels, processes 60 frames per second on a pixel, runs 13 times faster than the old SoVIT baseline when fully quantized, 6.5 times faster without, delivers 46% fewer parameters and a four times smaller memory footprint, yet somehow scores higher on vision language tasks. All the usual tooling showed up on day one, Hugging Face, Transformers, Llama.cpp, Google AI Edge, Olama, MLX, VLLM, Vertex AI, Docker, SG Lang, NVIDIA Nemo, Unslot, LM Studio. The list keeps expanding. Google even dangled a $150,000 Gemma 3N impact challenge for any on-device multimodal demo with genuine social benefit. If you've been itching to run frontier-level AI on a handset without melting the battery, this weekend looks perfect. But real quick, if you've been following all this AI news and thinking, okay, this is cool, but what can I actually do with it? You're definitely not alone. That's why we created the AI Income Blueprint. It shows you seven ways regular people are using AI to build extra income streams on the side. No tech skills needed, and you can automate everything pretty easily. The guide contains simple proven methods 
using tools I often talk about on this channel. Download it free by clicking the link in the description. Sticking with Mountain View, DeepMind quietly lifted the curtain on Alpha Genome a day earlier, and wet lab researchers are buzzing. Think of it as AlphaFold's DNA-centric cousin. The transformer devours mountains of public assay data and predicts how a single letter tweak in the 3 billion base human genome ripples through molecular circuitry. Whether a gene gets louder, goes quiet, or fires in the wrong tissue. Research VP Pushmeet Kohli calls it the first model that unifies the entire laundry list of genome interpretation challenges, instead of treating them as separate tasks. Alpha Genome is completely free for non-commercial use right now with commercial licenses on the roadmap. Caleb Leroux at Sloan Kettering says it lets his lab sift thousands of variants from patient studies in hours rather than weeks, while Julien Gagneur in Munich loves how it pinpoints the handful of mutations that hijack gene expression in ultra-rare cancers, potentially steering therapy. DeepMind isn't promising ancestry reports or personality predictions, but CEO Demis Hassabis frames it as a milestone on the road to the longer-term idea of simulating a full living cell in silico. While biologists were digesting that bombshell, software engineers got a treat of their own. Gemini CLI landed alongside Gemma. The tool pipes the Gemini 2.5 Pro reasoning model straight into your terminal, so you can stay in Z, fire off a prompt, and watch the model reason step by step through code, config files, or research notes. It inherits the new Deep Think mode, offers 60 requests per minute and 1,000 per day, completely free, and the whole repo is open sourced under Apache 2.0. Because it plugs into Gemini Code Assist, anything you do in the shell syncs with the VS Code extension, so your GUI and command line stay on the same page. Anthropic refused to be left in Google's shadow and shipped a beta that turns Claude from friendly chatbot into instant app studio. Last year's Artifacts View could already show diagrams and compiled code as live widgets. Now, Claude writes the code, compiles it, and serves a fully interactive app right beside the chat. Early testers have built AI-powered flashcard generators, trivia games, data dashboards, and even agent workflows that chain multiple Claude calls behind a single API route. The feature works on free, pro, and max plans, and because app traffic is built against the viewer's quota, not the creator's, Anthropic is actively encouraging people to share what they build. Corporate chess got spicy too. Meta successfully wooed three OpenAI Zurich researchers. Lucas Bayer, Alexander Kolesnikov, and Zhao Huazhai, and also signed Trapit Bansal, who had been steering OpenAI's reasoning models since 2022. The Wall Street Journal says Mark Zuckerberg is personally offering compensation packages worth roughly 860 crore rupees, about $103 million per head, and has already spent $14 billion on a stake in scale AI. The new hires are expected to accelerate the next Llama release and whatever reasoning heavy agent Meta has cooking. The WhatsApp crew kept the momentum going. A new optional switch now summarizes any stack of unread messages inside a personal chat. Tap the unread counter and Meta AI produces a concise digest so you know whether the chat is urgent or just more memes. Everything runs inside what Meta calls private processing technology a confidential computing layer where models crunch encrypted payloads without exposing them, even to Meta itself. When the feature is off by default, you choose which chats participate, and it debuts in the United States before expanding to more regions and languages later this year. It lands alongside the recent test of ad slots inside the Updates tab, so Meta is clearly looking to monetize without turning the main chat view into a billboard. Look, most people still think AI is some distant future, but regular folks are already using it to build income streams quietly, behind the scenes. If you want to see how they're doing it without tech skills or quitting their job, download the AI Income Blueprint. It's totally free, the link's in the description, but it won't stay free forever. Not to be left behind, YouTube finally hopped on the generative bandwagon. Search results in the United States mobile app are gaining an AI-curated carousel that surfaces the exact moment your query appears in each video, complete with a short description. Tap a card and you land directly at the good part, 
instead of wasting time scrubbing around. If you're already in the player, a fresh ask button lets you request an instant summary or toss in follow-up questions, with the agent blending information from the timeline and the broader web to answer intelligently. The highlight carousel rolls out to premium subscribers first, but the ask button is coming to everyone. And that wraps a frenetic news cycle. And the question is, why do you think Meta is going this hard after OpenAI researchers right now? Drop your thoughts in the comments, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and give this video a like to help it reach more people. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.